Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. 738 AM. Winds are out of the north at 22 miles an hour. The temperature is 42 degrees and the wind chill is at 32 degrees right now. That's a bit brisk. There's an old casita. I've only seen that thing not there once. I wonder where they went that weekend. <laughs> Already saw a gentleman out riding his bike, taking his dog for a walk. So apparently I'm the only one that thinks it's cold. Wow. The tide is really out here, huh? Look at that. A little mud flat today. gentleman just waved to us passing on the right he even initiated the wave it's going to be a good day guys <laughs> wrote a country song this morning it's called I used to just kiss her on the lips but it's all over now <laughs> that joke was so old I think a dinosaur first told it to me the sun's coming up we ain't got no cakes on the griddle sun's already up and above that cloud I slept last night in a pair of shorts and a t-shirt had my comforter and my blanket didn't even get out my sleeping bag or any type of heater and I was real comfortable even though I can't talk right now but I got all my electrical devices plugged in charging had my fan on low all night for just a little bit of air movement and I have my battery pack that I keep my phone charged in overnight And when I, I was, I was nice and warm. And when I saw the temperature outside, I normally would uh, start working right there, start answering comments. And uh, got lots of postcards this morning, guys. Good morning, bird. He just, I'm not into social media, but I, certainly enjoyed that tweet <laughs> I'm just full of them today I'm full of something today oh it's gorgeous guys when we make a little bit of a left up here we're going to feel that wind though right now it's kind of directly behind us out of the north doesn't seem to be affecting the birds much and certainly does give us a pretty view I did see some sea foam yesterday the wind was out of the northeast man it just blew 26 miles all day long and then last night slowed down to 22 today is take Luciano to the grocery store day so I wanted to get up and get a video done so I could get that online in time and after that I need to get washed up and then take and then take decide if we're going to go to Corpus today I want to go to Corpus, but I want to go on a day where it's nice. My favorite day to video in Corpus is early on a Sunday morning because there's not a whole lot of traffic. You think, uh, good morning seagulls, let's not start any crap today. That pole was crooked. You think in a town named the Body of Christ which is 
what Corpus Christi means in Latin because we all speak Latin that was conveniently named <laughs> what is Latin for under construction that's what they should have named that town let's let a let's let a little camper pass G Tech That is an internet provider company. Pretty sweet. Their office is right next to the mail center where I pick up my packages. If you're looking for uh, my email or mailing address, look in the description of this video. It's got my email mailing address what else is in there? Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, Amazon Affiliate Link, and Amazon Wishlist. End of commercial. I'm waiting for it to get a little bit warmer before I get out and do my walking today. Huh, water. So, my first summer up in Maine, I don't know how old I was, probably young, probably, I could be wrong, maybe eight. You know, I was living most of my life that time in Pennsylvania, C.K. Pennsylvania. You want to look it up? 705 Lawton Terrace. L-A-W-N-T-O-N -N Terrace in Seacane, Pennsylvania. 19018. That was my grandmom's house. And of course we lived in, by that time, living with my mother, we lived, see when I was, I was born in Drexel Hill. I'm pretty sure we lived in Glen Olden when I was born. Glen Olden, Pennsylvania, Hopkins Avenue. And from there we moved to McDade Boulevard. I think that was still Glen Olden. Could have been Holmes, Pennsylvania. Right on the border. Right across the street from the McDade Mall. Our house would later be made, uh, leveled into a McDonald's. Maybe that's why I like McDonald's coffee so much. And... I remember living there. It was like a divided up house. We lived on the third floor. I'm sorry, the second floor. And I lived three different places in Chester, Pennsylvania in three years. And uh, not really around much water. None of my friends had pools. There was no swimming spots near those areas. Nearest swimming spot when I lived in Chester was Trainer Rocks in Trainer, Pennsylvania. And that was more like a wading situation with a little bit of a waterfalls and rapid. Look at that. That one needs it. That one needs some work, but hold on. We're getting there. There's your postcard. There's my thumbnail that will make no one watch this video right there at, at uh, 903. <laughs> so I did not learn how to swim. And when we went up to Maine, there's, there's water everywhere. We went to Branch Pond and I would find out later in life, Branch Pond was part of Branch Lake. And I never heard anyone say Branch Lake at the time. We were always going to Branch Pond. But from our little beach at Branch Pond, which was my whole view of Branch Lake when I was growing up, there was a, a dam to the far, far left. Don't recall ever going to the dam or looking at the dam. And then an outcropping to the right and so you couldn't see 
that to the right was just this huge, huge lake. And it was a deep lake. And I can, I remember there was just, it was just super rocky and you could walk out pretty far. Uh, you know, you'd, you'd be in the water, but you could walk out pretty far on the rocks that were underwater. And it was a dark, <clears throat> a dark murky water. So not being around water, I couldn't swim. And we were on a log or something and I fell off and I was legit drowning. Legit drowning. And eventually my older brother who, uh, this is probably the only good thing I can say about him, uh, pulled me up out of the water so that I could grab the log. And that was probably the only nice thing my older brother ever did for me. Just not a good person, had a drug problem his whole life. Never worked, probably worked about, definitely under a year total his whole life. For everyone that pays taxes, he owes you a thank you note. See, I like this one too, but I don't like that pole right there. Can we get rid of that pole? No? All right, we're gonna go with the other shot. Private dock. And, uh, <clears throat> my dad, when I was up in Maine, worked during the day. And I, I don't know who the adult in charge that day was, but later on, my uh, stepbrother Bobby and his sisters, their dad lived in town. Uh, of course his their mother had married my father and his name was Glenn and he was a barber and apparently Glenn had a drinking problem but Glenn was always nice to me and Glenn would pick us up in his uh, he had some type of convertible I don't remember exactly what it was but it was a convertible. Remember, my stepmother had a, a Rambler. And the uh, transmission was push button. <clears throat> On the dashboard, there was push buttons. <laughs> but, uh, Glenn couldn't have been nicer to me. And Glenn is actually the person that taught me how to swim. So thank you, Glenn. Thanks for being a nice guy to me, and uh, thanks for teaching me how to swim. This is uh, all we got to today, guys, is right here. And I don't see any birds out yet. <clears throat> None of the larger birds. They're probably getting warmed up somewhere. I think that wind affects them more than it does the smaller birds for some reason. Maybe they have a bigger uh, mass area. Not one dog out walking. This is horrible. I did see a dog before I started filming. Well, guys, I appreciate you. Thanks for riding along today. Thanks for watching.